What up? How's it going? Salve. Shout out to Brazil. Today, we got another reaction from Fox House Central. Um, rest in peace to Dudu. I believe I'm saying that right, right? Um, I don't be I believe I have not heard him spit yet. I haven't heard him spit yet. The song that I'm reacting to today, I will be hearing him for the first time. Rest in peace to the brother. Okay? Um, yo. Every song, I already have a expectation going in to this song. The reason being is because <laughs> every one of these songs I reacted to by Fox South Central is like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. And you may, if I didn't understand, you made it clear, right? So this one is Iso Akie Uma And that means this is war. Or it's war here. I'm going to say it it uh, translates translates to this is war. Okay. Um. I wonder what it's going to be about. I wonder what it's going to be about when it says it's a war here. Could be speaking of you know, in whichever hood he's in, or he could be speaking about the country or society. I'm thinking hood, right? Because hip hop. Whenever I hear hip hop, my first thought is we talking about lo local first, right? But let's see, let's see. Before we begin, let me give a shout out to Brainfall Subtitles. Brainfall Subtitles is the one that allows me to communicate with y'all by providing subtitles and also translating some of my reactions. I see a lot of y'all in the comment section and the live chat saying, hey, Goonie, you help me along with my English. Well, if you want some help with your English, Brainfall Subtitles can help you with that. He has multiple teachers that can help you along with that goal. In order to get in contact with him, the email is in the description below. And if you let them know that Goonie Google sent you, they'll hook you up with a dope price. Let's go ahead and get this one started. We rewinding it. Hold the fuck up. I wasn't expecting it. You said read fast, but he was spitting. Woo! Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Was I off the camera the whole time I was getting? Hold on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was off the camera. Hold on. Yeah, bro. I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't expecting that. And the beat is tough. É 
uma guerra onde só sobrevive quem atira Quem enquadra a mansão, quem trafica Infelizmente o livro não resolve E o Brasil só me respeita com um revólver Aí o juiz ajoelha, o executivo chora Pra não sentir o calibre da pistola Se eu quero roupa, comida, alguém tem que sangrar Vou enquadrar uma burguesa e atirar pra matar Vou fumar seus bens e ficar bem louco Sequestrar alguém no cachê eletrônico A minha quinta série só adianta Se eu tiver um refém com meu cano na garganta E não tem gambé pra negociar Vai se ferrar, é hora de me vingar A fome vira o ódio e alguém tem que chorar Não queria cela, nem o seu dinheiro Nem boy torturado no cativeiro não queria o futuro com conforto Esfaqueando alguém pela corrente no pescoço hum. Mais três, cinco, sete É o que o Brasil me dá Sem emprego quando prego de onde passar Aperto entre a fusão e digita Esvazia, conta, agiliza, não grita Não tem Deus nem milagre Esquece o crucifixo, é só uma vadia Chorando pelo marido é o cofre Versus a escola sem professor Se for pra ser mendigo, doutor Eu prefiro uma Glock com silenciador Comer seu lixo não é comigo, morou Desce do carro se não tá morto Essa é a lei daqui, a lei do demônio Isso aqui é uma guerra Bro, that was tough That, yo That was fire <laughs> <laughs> First, when it start off like a book, what's that gonna give me? This Glock could give me something. That's the what. That's the conditions they created, and then they, you know what I mean, try to blame the people for the conditions that they created. But this is what they created, right? To the uh, Tupac talk about that. Well, a, a thug is created by what these motherfuckers have done. You feel me? Oh, yo! Thank you for saying this. Uh. Gabriel Inacio, yo, you said it was aired by MTV in 99 and the clip was prohibited by a judge back then. I was about to ask y'all because somebody said I got to watch the video. Um, I was going to ask, did this get banned? Based off of the age of the song and the way the video is, I'm like, and the lyrics and shit, I was like, this probably got banned. This shit was fire. <laughs> All right, let's go. Shout out Dog Sir Jones. Shout out Lucas Stork. Não chora a batia que eu não tenho dó. Dá a bolsa na moral, não resiste pior. Aqui é outro brasileiro transformado em moço. Sem a nossa Yeah. 
que é uma guerra. Yeah. Ooh, this one of the, my favorite rap songs from Brazil. I have reacted to. I've already it's gotten to the point where I'm like, all right. So the thing about my reaction channel is people expect at some point I'm gonna be like, nah, I don't like none of this. I don't like this. I don't like that. But y'all are sending me the best songs, right? Best music. When I heard this, first off, the beat is fucking. That's an all timer type of fucking beat. That's a like, do people freestyle on this? Y'all should be pressing these young niggas, these new rappers, and telling them freestyle on this. That's how they do up here. When you go up to Flex, or you go up to Clue, or you go up to, uh, what's it, nine, five, like, go to the Cosmic Kev, you go to any of these, they, hey, rap over this beat. That sounds like that's one of y'all finest fucking beats. I've heard this said. They go, yo, public enemy, they're revolutionary, right? You just look at how public enemy was and the way Chuck D spoke. Okay. I can't remember which documentary I saw, but somebody brought this up. They was like, in a way, NWA is even more revolutionary because this is not coming from an academic head space. This is coming from the space of someone who is there in the moment and what they're doing in the situations that were created by the rich and the powerful and the, and the government. So they're just, there is more revolutionary because imagine if that and that mindset goes out into society as a whole. Oh, that's a fear. You know, there's a fear of us using our intelligence, but there's also a fear of what happens there spilling out and touching them and not just touching them just oh they're doing it for no reason doing it because we taking what what's rightfully ours right i gotta eat i i gotta eat i'm a life form on earth i gotta i gotta i gotta exist my child gotta exist y'all gonna hold it from us all right we gonna take it from you so that that has to be fearful Right, like you know, there there's fear around that. So when people criticize hip hop, hip hop and make it, they criticize that. But then at its best, some people will hear that and be like, "Ah, not my favorite." At its best, that's some of it at its best because that right there is, oh, this is not just bloodshed for bloodshed's sake. I'm trying to eat, bro. You created these conditions. Deal with it. But then they did it over that beat. Oh my god. <laughs> And the thing about Eduardo or Mono Brown or a lot of these rappers from like y'all, y'all rappers, not, not the newer rappers, but the rappers from back then is they making sure you're going to hear and understand what they saying. You, you gotta, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, all that rapping fast and all that. Okay. Even Doom Doom, like. I understood every single word. You probably like you understood every single word. I mean, like <laughs> my ears could hear it. I didn't understand because I don't understand Portuguese, but I, I could, you know what I mean? Whereas some of the new funk or some of the new trap, yo, if, if I listen to that, I'm not going to learn Brazilian Portuguese from that. Right. When people see me react to Fox House Central or Hacio Nice, they go, yo, how he, there's certain shit I'm not going to get because it's unique to Brazil. There's certain shit I'm going to get, though, because it's not unique. Like the experience of creating a system that, okay, you're not going to allow us to partake in education in that same way, but you're going to give us access to these guns. Well, what if you got to deal with the consequences of your actions? And not just because it's happening, because that's what they try to do. They try to make these people seem animalistic by making it seem like, oh, they're just doing it. It's just random attacks. That's, that's the thought process they, they want to put out there. But it's like, nah, these people are trying to eat. 